Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Today what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit different. You've seen me growing lots and lots of veg and today I'm going to cook something. Now this is um, a shark fin gourd or a fig leaf gourd or as the Bengalis know it, a Chinese gula. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook this uh, gourd with some prawns. And I know Gary you don't like this, um, this type of gourd but I'm going to try and convince you that it is actually quite tasty. Now, my mum has very kindly prepared the prawns, so she's, so she's shelled them and she's cut them up and they're ready to cook. So, we just used a, a full packet of prawns, that's fine. What you're going to need for this is one gourd, some prawns. So the spices that I've got are three quarters of a spoon of um, salt, three quarters of a spoon of haldi, which is turmeric, um, half a spoon of chilli powder, three, qu uh, three quarters of a spoon of dhania, coriander powder, and half a spoon of curry powder. And so there are all the spices I'm going to use. It's going to be quite simple, you don't need to go overboard with this. You want the flavours to come through from the gourd and from the prawns. So I'll show you what I've got on my pan. So on my pan I've got a couple of cloves of garlic cut up into small pieces, you can crush it, that's fine, with a dash of olive oil and I'm just cooking that down, I'm browning the garlic and I've got a large onion, a couple of small small to medium sized onions chopped up very finely so you can see the th thickness of the onion that I've cut and that's going to go in now as well. So. When I'm talking about the spoons, this is the spoon that I'm talking about, a teaspoon. So it's not a huge chunk of stuff, okay? So with my, as soon as the onions go in, the salt goes in. The rest of the stuff I'm going to save to, for a little bit later, but the salt's in now. So I'll give that a mix in. I'm just going to wait for these onions to go soft in the pan. So I'll leave that there, put it on a medium heat and it'll take about 10 minutes for that to brown up and the onions to become soft. While those onions are browning and becoming soft, it's perfect time for me to get my gourd prepared. So let's do that. Now, you can peel this like an apple uh, before you cut it, but what can sometimes happen is the juices from inside, the, just under the skin, it can get quite sticky can get quite slippery so it's hard to cut so what I like to do is I don't I always like to cut it first this one down off my hand so cut it down in the middle I'll cut it into three quarters well three quarters I'll cut it into quarters <laughs> And then I'll peel it. So with these shark fin gourds, the trick is to pick them when they're quite young. So that way the flesh is still quite firm. If you let them get much bigger than the one in my hand, what happens is they become quite stringy inside. And they become a little bit less taste. Uh, the, the taste isn't there as much. So let's get this skin off. Peeled nicely. Okay, that's nice. I'll cut that off in a second when I when I cook it, cut it. There we go. So all those peelings are going are going to my worm bin for my compost. If you're in a country where you can feed kitchen scraps to your chickens, the chickens will eat that quite nicely. I'll give them a wash before before I cut them, start cutting them. That's fine. That left over water is beautiful to wash your to water your plants with. So don't waste that water. Use it to water your plants. I have a bucket outside my kitchen door where I save my water like this and I use that to feed my plants. So the way I'm going to cut, cut these is I'm just going to remove the end on both sides because the end sometimes a little bit tough. So 
So you just remove that. And then I'm going to cut these. So the shape of it wants to be cut again into the, there, that way. It wants to be lengthwise cut and those into four pieces. So the easiest way to do it is one, and that's the si sort of size piece that you want to cut. So yeah, about an inch, inch thick in terms of the piece, of the piece size, and then in they go. See, I've got one that's maturing for seeds, uh, so hopefully I will save my own seed this year. Because the last couple of years with this plant, for some reason, we've just not we've we've not had the seeds to get hold. Yeah, we've not been able to get all the seeds as easily. But this is a really prolific uh, producer. So um, if you are struggling with some of the other gourds, this is one that you can very easily grow. It is one that's that's very generous. So even this, I can see that it's starting to get on the mature side, and it's starting. The seeds are starting to form. So you start losing flavour as the, as the as it gets older. So it's best to pick them quite young. So I've finished cutting my gourd now. Now to check on my onions. So they're starting to brown up nicely. So what I'm going to do is now it's time to get the rest of my spices in. So all of these spices can all go in together. And what you want to the key is with a lot of these spices is to add them early so you cook the spices in so they're not powdery so you don't get that powdery taste if you if you add them early and you properly cook them. And I can already smell it, it smells them beautiful absolutely beautiful you've got to be careful now is if you use a high heat at this point it's very easy to burn the spices you want to cook them but you don't want to let them burn so now that I've got to this stage just keep stirring it for a few a couple of minutes and once those spices look like they're cooking through and you know that means you're not going to get that powdery taste anymore I'm going to add my prawns. So there, all my prawns can go in. I mean, the way we cook prawns is we don't waste, all we've done is taken the shells off. The heads have gone in as well, so we're not worried about eating them. They can go in, they'll give it a little crunch, not a problem. But the, the veins have been taken out of the back. So now you want to turn the heat up while you're doing this and let the prawns cook through nicely. So you want the prawns to be cooking like this for about five minutes. And as soon as you can start seeing the water from the that was inside the prawns start to dry up and the prawns become a little bit pinkish, now is the time to add my gourd. So in goes my gourd. And I fill the pot all the way to the top. Now give it a good mix. See this, this kind of cooking is proper traditional home cooking. You're not going to see it on um, people like what's that? What's that guy who swears a lot called? What's his name? Yeah, the, the sweary guy. You're not going to see it, see people like him cook this kind of food. This is real traditional home cooking. So now I've got my gourd in there. Don't worry that it, the pot looks quite full. It's gonna, it's gonna, um, the gourd's gonna uh, become, it's all gonna shrink as it heats up. Don't worry about that. So now I'm gonna turn the heat down and I'm gonna stick a lid on it. And I'm gonna leave it like that for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna keep coming back and checking on it every five minutes to make sure and give it a little stir. Once that's settled, the the gourd will release a lot of water and you'll get a lot of juice filled up in this in this uh, dish. 
that stage I'm going to add some chilli and some coriander and then we'll get it, we'll, we'll get ready to eat. So my dish has been cooking for about 15 minutes, the juices have come out of the gourd, let's have a look at it now. Oh that looks delicious. Now we're going to add a little bit of, last a couple of little more things to give it that little, just make it that much nicer. So I've gone out and picked a load of chilies from the garden. Um, and these are little basket of fire chilies. So we've got red ones, purple ones, immature ones. I'm not going to add those. Those are for eating fresh alongside of our dinner. But these are my peppers, or my crossbreed peppers between cayenne and these ones, basket of fire. So look at that absolutely gorgeous colour. Red, oh beautiful. So we'll... we'll We'll add two of these chilies. Now what I've got some coriander chopped up as well. So I'll just remove the ends. Okay. So I'm being told off for cutting them too small because they'll make it too spicy. So all we'll do is we'll half it and put it in. There we go. Right. So that's gonna go in. This one now. Get the chilies in, in we go. Get the coriander in, in we go. So I'll give it a little stir. Stir that in. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's looking lovely. Yes. There we go. Nice and dished up. So let me tuck in. I'll tuck in the traditional way. So squeeze a lemon on top. This one there. And I'm going to eat with my hands in the traditional way. So mix that in. This one there, not mine, right here. Let's give that a taste and see what it's like. Mmm. Some chilli. Mmm. That's delicious. MashaAllah. So I'm going to finish this off. And I'll get some, probably go for seconds. I'll leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.